Oh my god. Forest, you beautiful bastard. <laughs> Did that I work? Can't believe that I actually hope that worked. worked. There was any doubt, yes. If I'm being honest, I can't believe it either. <laughs> Thank God it's over. I'll be off now. Good. Say Gotta bye. Get out of here. Write up a few notes. Call a few friends. Good. I'd feel safer waiting for the cops to come grab this freak with some company. Hey, maybe you and me could do an interview tomorrow for the Gallows Reporter. Maybe. I'll think about it. Let's see what tomorrow brings. I'll take that as a yes. Talk to you soon. There we are, folks. The Whistling Man is locked up. Let's all take a deep breath. And play some killer tunes. Not the time. Game over. What? I'm just gonna check what that is. Maurice survived the whistling man. Unlock all doors in the station. Oh, okay. Cool. Listen in to this next track from Late Night Lurkers, if you dare. Looks like the night should be pretty easy from here on out. Oh. Right. Thank God that's over. I have a bad feeling it won't be. Now. I could ask you some questions to kill the time. You're gonna interview me. Mm, Are you sure I don't about know, that? man. You're not so scary. Besides, we've been working together like a week now, and you're still all shrouded in mystery. What do you want to know? I'll regret this, but okay. You can like being a mystery. Did it occur to you that maybe I like being a mystery? Too bad. Question one. <gasps> Ripley Records. Tell me about your family. That's what? reference to Come Ripley on, from it. Alien. That's too general. Okay. That's a reference to Did Little Shop of Horrors. And that's a reference freak? to Jason nope. from... Now that's that's Jason Worries. Everyone pretty too much specific? knows about him. Axe I... Down? Don't know. Do you have any... If it's specific. Siblings. Newbury. I don't. I'm an only child and my folks are dead. Oh, I'm sorry, Forrest. That's how it goes. It's okay, Peggy. That's how it goes. Anyway, what about you? Any siblings? Your mom and pop still around? I thought I was asking the questions. Not anymore. I'm just making conversation now. Oh. Well, my folks went the same way as yours. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. Yeah. My dad walked out when I was about 13. He'd been a wreck for a while. Then he got himself into a wreck, and, well, that was dad. Mom didn't take it well. She remarried pretty quick after that. She wanted to forget dad so bad, she even made me take my stepdad's last name. So I'm Peggy Weaver now. Hmm. Anyway, Mr. Weaver got sick one day, and... My mom didn't last long after he went. I'm sorry to hear that, Peg. Don't call me Peg. Yeah, sorry. I was just trying to be... It's okay, I know. I'm sorry. I'm definitely about that name. Roma? Any siblings? Funny you mention that now. No. Not anymore. Jones. Oh, I like... had a sister, but... Uh, I, haven't I can't remember the name. Fred Jones have. from Scooby-Doo. Hold on. Someone just rang the door buzzer. Oh. What on earth could someone want at this hour? I don't know. Do you want to go check it out? Me? Do I have you a choice? Sure you don't want to go? I can't leave the booth while we're on air. One yes, of you can do. Regulations. You I'll pass can. You the key to the stairs. Let me out. Let me out. Thank you. Okay. Down to the first floor, then check the door. What is that? Okay, is there anything I can read here? Let me read this. Can I open that? Okay, I guess not. I will- Okay, guys, before anyone's like, you didn't notice this, if I just, like, skip over it, this is, like, similar to the carpet from The Shining. I know. Tracks. I know it's like there, but I want to check around a bit first. I need a key to get in there. Why the hell? Why am 
the hell do I need that? Do I got any keys? Oh. <gasps> oh my god, five cats! That's adorable! I want, I want that many cats, but also not. I'm sorry, Barbara. I think that's her name. The receptionist. A tape. Uh, this is definitely not creepy. Play on air. Um, I don't think I want to. Is, it, is this like a tape? Good job on the new job. Don't mess it up. Genie. Good luck. I'm so proud of you. Blah, 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 blah. I'm sorry, Genie. Cool. I'm stealing this. Stealing this right now. Sorry. I know I'm gonna keep it for later. I'm not gonna explain why, but you'll understand. Just gonna. No, okay, I guess I cannot do that. <laughs> oh, I thought my game crashed. I was like, no. Who was there? I didn't see who it was. Are they still out there? Nope. No. They left as soon as I went down there. They pushed a cassette through the door. It says, play me on air. All right. Well, turn the music off and play it. Hello, Gallows Creek. Time to pay the price. Time to pay for lies. Time to sit there. I will punish you. I'm going to enjoy this. Yeah, that's definitely not creepy. That's definitely not I creepy. Did not enjoy that. What the hell was that? I. Oh. Forest, we're still on air. Say something. Folks, the... Oh. <clears throat> Folks, the tape you just heard was passed through our door only moments ago. I don't know how or why that came through our door. Yeah, I don't know how either. Up, but be careful, Gallows Creek. Stay home and stay safe. My theory... Give us a call if I'm you need help. I'm gonna have to tell it. You can get us. There's more killers. More than just one. It makes sense. It gets, it's giving me hot fuss, uh, if you know the movie, um, vibes. It's a good movie if you haven't seen it. Hey, we had a call come in. Collar, you're on 189.16, The Scream, with- Ash! Shut up and listen to me! Mm -hmm. Mr. Russell? What's wrong? Are you okay? I said listen! He's gone! What? The whistling man is gone! What the hell? It's gone? Damn it, I thought you locked him up. What's going on? Damn if I know, Nash! Mr. Russell, where are you now? What happened? Well, after our call, I cleared the stairs and went home. I phoned some buddies, and we came back here to keep watch. Then what happened? I'm getting to that. We came back here. The door was shut, just as I left it. We had a couple of drinks and The last well, thing you do if there's a serial there a killer of around we is drink. Off. And I'm saying this they as I'm just had a sip of my Coca cola I don't blame you. I don't blame you. I would have been tempted to I don't to know do what I'm saying. I... Have you both got a screw I don't know what we're talking about. You know what the whistling man's done tonight! This was not my idea! The guys just grabbed their weapons and unlocked the door. I braced myself and... Then? Then nothing. The room was empty. The door was still locked. How the hell did he get out? Good Are you question. sure it was still locked? I don't know. I'm telling you it was locked. No way out of there. None! Maybe. Hmm. I mean, I know it's crazy, but if he's back from the dead, then... I don't think he's back from the dead. 
do I'm not going to deny her theory because my theory is probably things? just as dumb. I mean, how do we know he's I'm not? I'll explain it later. There's no way. <laughs> when I when Ooh, we've met all the characters. Baloney. Dissect baloney. Look, I don't want anything more to do with this. I'm clearing out a dodge, and I recommend you and everyone listening do the same. He seems really spooked. Wouldn't you be if you got attacked by a serial killer who turned out to be a demonic spirit? He's not a demon, Peggy. Yeah. Yeah, you're probably right. But what do we do now? What are these? Are these like songs? Thank you again, Mrs. McKenzie, for the helpful tip. The bagger at the grocery store cannot whistle. We'll remove her from the suspect list. Can I turn Let's off this light? I, I feel like it's wasting second. power. All right, folks. We need to take a quick break. This one's for all those folks out there keeping the hatches battened. You're gonna love this next track. All right, Peggy, what's up? I pushed a cassette under my door. Go play it. Let me out. Let me out. Let me out. As this is not a dance. I'm begging for help. I'm screaming for help. But what if I want to stay with you? I can protect you. Or try your call again. Straight to voicemail. My All right, God. I've got it. Did we forget an ad or something? I don't know. It was buried in my work mail. I only just saw it. See what it says. Why are you just uh, now going through your mail? Play me ASAP. Oh. Off air. That's Reggie's handwriting. And he wrote it in purple. And? Purple is Reggie's angry color. He only writes in purple when he's really pissed off. Purple message. All right. I'll put it on. I'm not going to deny him serious. anything. If he has an angry color, that's his Straight business. Straight to voicemail? My god. Are there any professionals at KFAM? This is Gina Franklin. I'm calling because your backwater station has not honored our agreement. We gave you Mr. Snatcher's newest single, the kind of honor you never had and probably never will again. And we've still not received any information about when you're fitting it into your busy programming. I'll be frank, I didn't want you as part of this debut, but Mr. Snatcher, due to his prior friendship with Mr. Nash... Oh, prior and current friendship, Gina. Forrest Nate, you alright? Don't worry about Gina, you know how she is. But yeah, can't wait for you to hear the new single, man. I think Final Breath is my best work yet. I really hope you and your listeners like it. And man, if you ever find your way this side of the pond, let me know. We'll have to catch up. If Final Breath isn't played on your airwaves by the end of Mr. Nash's show tonight, the next call will be much less friendly. Who is it? That was Roddy Snatcher, Forrest! You know, Roddy Snatcher? Yeah, Roddy and I are old friends. I didn't know I if they Roddy. were, but you know. I will always find or, well, you I my knew, song. but I don't fully know like the consequences. Oh my god, I can't believe rotation. you know Roddy Snatcher. What do you mean? And I can't believe you didn't tell me he sent you his new single. Because I didn't know. We have to play Final Breath. Where is it? Do you think I, I know? They mailed it to KFAM, not to me. Then it's got to be downstairs at reception. Why is everything Man, down there? I can't believe Barbara didn't say anything. I mean, well... If that fiasco last Christine Friday knows. about the missing knife Christine's and easy gas track and repair. is an indication, Price folks at KFAM aren't against on station in. music for personal use. I think Early we're still spree. missing a few tracks, actually. Well, go get Roddy's song before Gina sues the pants off us. I won't. Don't worry. Wait, I just want to check something. Keys collected. Records? How do you get, like, the other... Like, what le records are they talking about? Is it the one I'm supposed to get? What's this? Introducing Woodside Apartments. Oh my god, there's like a stupid fly in my room. Um, luxury and afford affordable apartments. Blah, 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 blah. 
Okay. It's all for you, my girl. Okay, cool. Cool. Where am I gonna open that? Probably. Needs a key. I can't. But where at reception would it be? I'm sorry, I'm dumb. Find it. Wait, but where is it? My my guy? I'm dumb. You're expecting too much of me. Maybe she has it? Am I dumb? I know I am, but you know. <gasps> is it in the trash? Is that what it is? No. <gasps> no, that's where it is. This must be it. Final breath. My tiny selection. What's that? Barbara. Datables. You know what, Barbara? I relate to you, girl. I think we should be best days. Just based off all of this. I'm just stealing this note. As well as that. No, actually I'm not. I'm just stealing this map because I know it'll come in handy. And I'm a lazy son of a bitch. If I don't have to leave a room, I don't want to. I like how all the like all the cool things they got around. I what is it? Final breath. I'm just gonna put this. Can put that there. Hey. hey, did you get it? Got it. Let's get this on the air. Ah! Gallows mm. Creek. I'm pleased to say we're in for a much needed treat. Up next, courtesy of the British sensation himself, is a track you won't hear everywhere. Anywhere. Here's Final, Final Breath, Breath by, by Roddy, Roddy Snatcher. Snatcher. Can I introduce this? I like how it wow. automatically. God, Roddy's the best. I can't agree because I don't and hear the song. You know, we should be safe from the worst of Gina Franklin. I bet it's great. I bet it's great. I'm not gonna play it just in fear of the copyright. And I think that's every time I've seen him live. Peggy, wow, you're you just a huge fan. Through the whole song. Oh, whoops. It's okay. I can just play it on loop later. Oh shoot! I just noticed we have a caller waiting. I really hope it's nothing serious. Evening, caller. This is Forrest Nash. Yep. Host of 189.16, The Scream. And tonight's 911 stand in. This is Murphy. Hello, Murphy. <laughs> Hello, Murphy. Uh, That's what have you got my for us tonight? Impression. First things, Forrest. First, happy birthday to my son. Happy Fernando. birthday, Fernando. He's free today. And man, being his daddy has changed my life. I've learned how to live, how to laugh. He sounds like a good dad. How to love. Aw, happy birthday, yeah, Fernando. Happy birthday, Fernando. Happy birthday, Fernando. Thanks. Weird night to celebrate. It's his birthday. One of my so birth cool. one of my Get friends up. has the birth his birthday is cool. like on a national tragedy hey, pretty much. Hey, for hey, my hey, for Norway. Roman. Like, we still Don't celebrate it as our birthday, not as the day people got murdered. This is a bad this idea, Murphy. This is a bad idea, Murphy. I got all the tapes in Master Robbie's Dojo series. So get ready, whistling man. You just let loose the junkyard dog. <laughs> oh you know, no. You know what? We gotta appreciate uh, and there he goes. his Ladies and gentlemen, ability. 
Keep your fingers crossed for Murphy as he tries to become our hometown hero. <sighs> anyway, we'll be right back after this commercial. No. Oh. oh, I'm gonna play that. Teddy Gallows Jr. is a family man. A devout Christian and a proud patriot. Teddy Gallows Jr. is Gallows Creed. Like his father and all his fathers before him, Teddy Gallows Jr. has worked hard to create jobs, improve infrastructure, and make Gallows Creek a good place to raise a family. Unlike current mayor, Linda Cartwright, Teddy Gallows Jr. lives in Gallows Creek. He's our neighbor. I don't like this Teddy Gallows. Cartwright is trying to force into early retirement. Teddy Gallows Jr. doesn't believe in keeping a good man out of a job. Teddy Gallows Jr. believes in the American dream. Does Linda Cartwright? Help Teddy Gallows Jr. keep Gallows Creek a good American town. Help him become mayor. Take a swing for Gallows Creek. Vote for Teddy Gallows Jr. My name is Teddy Gallows Jr. And I approve this message. God, what a jackass. 100% grade A asshole. Melinda Cartwright isn't super herself, but she's not... Yeah, yeah, but at we least... don't have any more of those ads to air tonight, do we? At least no, she's just not an nepotism, baby. I have to ask, though. Take a swing for Gallows Creek? Uh, he set the home run record for Gallows Creek High. Uh, of he's course, definitely he's evil in some way. Yep, I just he know played it. lots of sports back in the day, and he like, never other lets than being forget it. The average right. white American <laughs> Let's man. Let's just get back to the show. Well, folks, hearing that reminds me that every vote matters. That ad really made me want to take a swing at Teddy Gallows. Me too. You mean take a swing for Teddy Gallows? Yeah, sure. Let's find out from our next caller who's got their vote. We got a caller. You know what to do. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. <sighs> Where are you talking to? You? Hey, we're breathing. Who's there? Who's there? Who is this? Hey, girly. You okay? Hello. Hello. Are, are you still with us? Forrest? He called me? <gasps> that horrible whistling down the phone. He's coming for me? Jesus. Okay, listen, Collar. Don't panic. We've done this a few times now. We can help you. A few times already? So, you saved them, or...? We sure did. You're in safe hands. Okay. Okay. We're gonna help you. Can you tell me your name, Collar? I'm Dr. Sullivan of Virginia. Sorry. Take some deep breaths, Virginia. You're gonna be okay. Please don't let me die. I won't. You won't. Don't worry. Just calm down. Tell me where you are right now. What's your address? I'm... Collar, come. I'm... Oh, God. Uh, can you hide? Maybe you can hide in your house? He'll find me. Okay. I know he'll find me. Okay, girl. Do you have any neighbors? Neighbors are always good to have. Is there a neighbor you could Unless call for they're help? murderers. No. Everyone's away tonight. For fuck's sake. There's just a fraternity down the street. You live by a frat house. Yes. They're good. having a party. That takeout coming in all night. Lawn covered in beer cans. They're getting wasted. And I'm about to get... Oh, God. Virginia, what's the name of the frat? It's... Oh, God. I can't think. I, I can't... Any idea what the frat might be, Peggy? If I knew where she was, I might know, but... Wait, the takeout. If we can get takeout to the frat, we can get a message to them to go and help. Peggy, Virginia, you get these who did they ideas? order takeout from? I don't know. Don't... Please try to remember... I'm trying Come to on, save Virginia. Your life. Try to remember. I can't My do back this. is killing me. I'm sorry, guys. Well, okay. folks, seems like our well, Virginia it's our problem. hung up while we try to figure out what takeout to order. <laughs> here's some music for your own midnight snacks. Okay. So. Oh, sorry.
It's funky, it's groovy, it's and stab, stab in, the in the twilight moonlight. by knife and easy. easy. Peggy, what places do take out in Gallows Creek? Off the top of my head? Uh, well... I like all the stickers. There's the barbecue place, grilling spree, and you can order from Chalupa Cabras. Oh, and of course we have Ponty's Pizza. Who's Ponty's? Pizza, I think. Let's get calling. All right. We'll call each place and ask the who they delivered to tonight. Free. That's Wait, not going okay. to work. Take out client privilege. What? That sounds like there bullshit. There was a lot of competition back in the day. Things got ugly. Okay, it's a long grilling story. spree is but there. What we can do is this. We figure out where the coffee is ordered but it's from. Not. Call the takeout pretending to be from the there. crowd. Place an order and include a note asking them to call the station. <sighs> There's no other way, is there? Are there any there? colleges or something see. nearby? I don't know how fraternities work. I only know them through Veronica Mars. Hey, don't be well, negative. Especially not, not time, on, then. on radio. That's the spirit. You got any suggestions There's on like, where to look? Hi there. Check the offices for anything food related. And maybe the kitchen downstairs. You'll need a key for that. I'll just slide it under my door now. Thanks, Peggy. I like her. She's God, cool. where to start? What would make me order from somewhere them. if I were a partying frat boy? We have a food critic, right? Chad or Brad or... Uh... Yeah, I know. I just have to look around. A promotion, huh? Maybe if I find the pizza box. Chalupa Cabra. Hmm. Also, still the one thing. There's nothing more here for me to take. Okay. Imagine I just walked into the bathroom. Look. Thank you, Schoen. As I think that's what the Germans say. Lock. For now. I'm just gonna explore a bit. Bam bam. Why is there so many? Can I take the. Well, I can't take it. So many locked doors, so few keys. I'm not gonna open that one. Okay. Nobody's misusing that. No. Okay. Oh. I was hoping that would break, like those TikToks. I might put in a clip of those. <laughs> For reference. What? What the hell? Can I ask what the hell this is? I've never. I keep hearing things. And I know I'm not schizophrenic. Rooting so. through trash. This is a new low. Ooh. Interesting offer. I wonder how well Gallows High performed. Yeah, it's definitely Ponte's. We have not heard gotten a call. It's like, um, I'm gonna be honest. This game is very good at following the law of good old, um, Chekhov's gun. You only reference what is important. Which they have been doing very much. So. But also, what's this? Oh, it's a napkin holder. That's pretty neat. I like that. I'm gonna steal this. Okay, there's nothing new trash I can bring. To the studio. Wait. Records collected. How many records can I collect? Let 
I'm just gonna put this here like the trash it is. Peggy. Hey, find anything useful? Yep. Yep, I'm ready. Yes, I have. That's great. It's got to be Ponty's. On the line. Yep. Let's make the call. Time to turn the music off. I like the little symbol. Okay, like, Forrest. Like what will it be? Uh, call Ponty's call Pizza. Ponty's Obviously. Pizza. You They're got the it. Only ones referenced, and we have talked to. Ponty's Pizza. I never is explained on the, the Chekhov's gun thing. I'm sorry. I'm getting distracted here again. But yeah. Okay. Chekhov's gun is this rule within, what well, usually writing, where you have to only mention things that are relevant to the story. For example, Chekhov's gun, like the name implies, is about a gun, mainly. And for example, if you showed in the first act, it better be used in the last act. At least in the last, by the last. If it's not used by that time, it's not worth mentioning the gun whatsoever. It's going to be disappointing if you don't mention the gun. And this game has been mentioning things that are relevant for a very long time. For example, it was like, Ponty's Pizza, and then we've been called by him. And he's relevant to the story, so it has to be him. We have not talked to the grill, we've heard the grilling spree ad. But that's not the same. That was optional. So it's not like the plot is being fed to us. So it's like an optional thing to mention. <laughs> Plus there was uh, very few things related to that. It was like a mention of like the others. The Ponty's Pizza is being like forced down our throats to the point where it's like, you're mentioning this a lot. This has to be related to the plot. Uh, so if that makes sense. Hee <laughs> hee. Ponty's Pizza! May yeah, I take Ponty. your order? Hey, dude. Hey, dude. What's going on? Uh, may I take your order? Actually, no. Um, garlic. Garlic bread, I guess. I need some garlic bread. I need the bread! Can do! Where do you want that delivered? Uh, same place as before, you know. The frat house. Got it! And we'll have that over to you right away. Oh, and, and one more thing. Can you add a note to the order that says to call KFAM? KFAM? Oh, consider it done. The folks at KFAM are huge no, we're fans not. of Ponty's Pizza. We're not, know. Ponty. I should really call them and let them know. And now we wait. We should put a song on. Agreed. This one goes out to our delivery workers. Crying for help. Here comes one of my favorites. Oh. Which of the takeout places would you order from? I don't care. To I'm sorry. Virginia? No. I'm sorry. Where, I'm not where would you actually eat? This. Oh. I mean, they're all pretty equal. Mm. If you had to pick. Sure, but if you had to pick one. All right, all right. Not Ponty. He's not Ponty. Right. So between oh, grilling cool. spree and chalupa cobras. I mean, it depends. Do I want a plate full of meat, or do I want really, really good nachos? Nachos. It can change depending on the day, you know. I yeah, want nachos. Don't Maybe I nachos I... Hold that thought, Forrest. The food We've got a call coming propaganda in. is strong with me. I'm very good. I'm very bad at not listening to that propaganda. Okay, Forrest, shut the I music off. Any food. I'm sorry. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream hey, with, with me. me. Kitty Bones. Nash. Not Forrest Nash. Hey, hey, hey. This is Fredman Parker. We got some garlic bread and a note to call this number. <laughs> yes! Bunker! This is Forrest Nash from 189.16. No, it's Kitty. Kitty Bones. Is this Goose? <laughs> mm. Oh, man. It's totally you, isn't it, Goose? <laughs> this is such a Goose friend. Oh, that's pretty. Sure, we can pretend. It. Boy, he's drunk. Sure, whatever. We it, can it's pretend. Goose. Now, listen, I. Go we back. got so much beer! Uh, listen, I need Let's you to- Please. Goose, 
Come get beer. Your brother's awaiting for you. I'm not Goose. I. Uh, how can I prove this to you? Oh, let me get a second opinion on this. Norman the Barbarian! What do you think? <laughs> Great idea. How's this standing Norman up? Norman the Barbarian says only the radio man can control. So, play us the flow. Wait, okay. really? What? The flow? Norman the Barbarian demands it. Okay, okay, I'll play the damn song. Damn. Oh shit! Okay, okay, Radio Man. You got my attention. What is it? Thank God. Listen, you've got to get over to your neighbor's house. All of you, just. Say no more. Bunker's moving the house. Forest, line two. Oh. Hello, you're live on 189.16. The, the screen. screen. Forrest, it's the killer. He's at the that door. guy needs Please. to get a hobby. Oh my god, it's, it's you, isn't it? God, I didn't talk, I promise. God. I love Plunker. He's silly. Thank you, Forrest. You're welcome, Virginia. And thank you to Plunker Yay. and his fraternity brothers. Some heroes wear capes. Some wear sheets as togas. Hey, Forrest. Did you hear what Virginia said earlier? What was that all about? Clive, I didn't talk. Do you know what she meant? There's a janitor here at the station named Clive, but... Your guess is as good as mine. All right, folks. Seems we may have a lead. If any of you know a suspicious Clive, then please call in. It could save lives. In the meantime, looks like we have another caller. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. It's great to speak with you, Forrest. Oh my God. As a local small business owner, oh, I find Ponte. this I know it's Ponte. horrifying. A killer roaming the streets of our fair town? Ooh, terrible. <sighs> I Tell hear you this there. Man. It's a scary time for everyone. He's definitely Creek. suspicious. How are you holding up? Okay, I just have to say, he's so fucking... He's, he's so weird doing this while his town is being terrorized. It is so weird. And I think that's suspicious. I think it's weird that if anyone's like calling during like a slot, like a mass killing, that's like, hey, come down to my restaurant actually. Like, no. You're suspicious. You're definitely the killer with how you're self advertising when you could die in a moment. Like, I don't think that's an. That's not appropriate. And I think it's weird, and if you do that, you're probably a weirdo, and probably a murderer. Oh, I like, like the thing. You somewhere safe tonight? I just realized that. Yes, Forrest, I am. I I'm just had to rant, I'm sorry. small business. It's a safe, family-friendly place. Um, you sure are you up sure late? You sure are up late. I guess you must love the work. Oh! I sure do. You know, we're at it all day, every day. And that includes major holidays we've no. got coming up, like Halloween, Thanksgiving, and Christmas. So, it's my life. You must really, really love your work. Oh, I do. My small business. Really is my whole world. What's your small business? Oh, well, I'm not really big on promotion, but uh, since you ask, it's Ponty's Pizza! The best and only pizza place in town! Come on down and get yourself a cracking deal on our two for one. God damn it, Ponty, no! No free ads! 